Hi, it's Hopke, and welcome to this screencast looking at action filters. Now, action filters do exactly what they say. If you've got a button or an element that on click or whatever has got lots of actions in it, you can use a filter to determine which of those actions get executed or not. Now, as an example, I've got this TV menu, and if I select its container, I'm going to give it the action that on startup, I want to visibility hide element self. So that is going to do exactly what it says on the tin. So if I click OK and yes and publish it out, there is no menu because I've told it to hide on startup. However, if I go back to the skin editor, go back to the container, I can now apply a filter to this action. So here is our action filtered button. When I click it, you open up the action filter panel and I can select from a various amounts of triggers. So you can see here if I mouse over or whatever, but I'm going to select advanced and browser. And I'm going to say when the browser equals, let's say Firefox, then this action, uh, or, or yeah, this action will be triggered. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So let's uh, publish this out. I open up in Safari and there is my menu. There we go. Now, if I open in uh, Chrome and just paste in the URL, you'll see I've still got my menu, but if I open in, in, in Firefox, the menu is gone because the filter was, if the browser is Firefox, hide self. There you go. So that's that action filter working. Now the action filter can work with various um, actions and it can also work with variables. So in the skin, I've got a variable TV menu. Uh, it's a numbered variable and it's, its initial value is at zero. And this is how this menu system works. I've got two buttons. When you click the up button, it's actually changing the variable number from zero, one and two. And the down button will change it from two, one back down to zero. And the channel select button has the actions, it has three actions, and they're all mouse click, open next panorama, and then nodes one, two, and three. Now under normal circumstances, this wouldn't work because you can't have one button to click to open up three different nodes. But as you can see with these little asterisks, that's telling me that there is an action filter applied to each of these actions. And if I open up one, you'll see that we've got the, the uh, colored button here again telling me that there's an an, uh, uh, an active action filter. When I click it, you'll see that when the variable is equal to zero, then this action will be executed. If I look at the next one down, you'll see that when that variable is equal to one, then that will be executed. And then obviously on the last one, when the variable equals two. Okay, so if I close this and publish out, what we'll see is um, the TV channel actually represents the variable number. So that would be node one, two, and three. And when I click the button, it will open up the relative node or the relevant node to that variable. There you go, that's using action filters. And as always, thanks for watching.